the forehead, they do look like pretty. Those ones are going to be even fluffier than the cowboys. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I like that. Remember my cat there that I had shaved him? The one I had to get put down because he had a... The one like a deep mud raccoon? The hat? No, that was, that was Franken cat. <laughs> yeah. No, he was um, that color. He was bigger than Tubbs. And he had a um, uh, kidney cat. Oh, no way. Yeah. Uh, so I had to put him down. But he was the same color. And uh, their fur is actually um, longer. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, long hairs. Yeah. yeah. Right now it looks like they're not really long hair, but I know they will be. Because <laughs> they're not fat. size comparison. We're being hammered by the snow tonight. Karen Kunkun is standing by with our full forecast. And Karen, how long is this going to last? Yeah, you know, Rosa, it's really coming down right now. It will continue overnight and into tomorrow. Now, expecting about 20 centimeters of snow overnight tonight, and that is because of that snowfall warning that's in effect overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Now, let's take a look at our satellite radar, and I can show you what's happening here. We have a Pacific frontal system that hits the province, mix that with the Arctic air that we've seen for about a week now, and here we have another huge storm. Now, tomorrow, we'll see that storm in all parts of the
the province. Now for the island, expecting about 10 centimeters of snow. Temperature warming to about minus 1 for Comox and Nanaimo. Minus 2 for Victoria. Warming to uh, 0 for Squamish and Whistler. Very, very cold, but expecting about 5 to 10 centimeters of snow for tomorrow morning. And uh, temperature sitting at about minus 26, 27, and even up to 28 as you get closer to the top of the mountain. So very cold indeed. Abbotsford seeing temperatures at minus 4, feeling more like minus 20 with the wind shell factor. And for Hope, blizzard-like conditions with your temperature feeling like minus 27. Now, how long is this going to stick around? Well, it'll be Sunday that we're the hardest hit with it. Temperature sitting at minus 2 for Metro Vancouver, about 10 centimeters of snow. And then for Monday, we have a little bit of a break with some sunshine and clouds, but back into another storm on Tuesday with temperature highs of zero and periods of snow on and off. And that continues for uh, Wednesday. Now, Thursday is Christmas, and it's a nice sunny day, so maybe we'll just have snow on the ground that day. And we'll have rain mixed with snow as you head into the weekend. So, Rosa, my advice tonight is take care on the roads because we will have quite treacherous conditions on your highways. Back to you. Sounds like I may be camping out here tonight. Thanks so much, Karen. Well, Christmas came early for the Canadian auto industry today. A $4 billion bailout was unveiled. It's to keep Chrysler and GM afloat and their workers on the job. But as Aaron Salzman reports, the cash comes with plenty of questions.